Hello guys, how are you doing this week? I hope you have been well. So, um, some announcements to make, but before I get into that, in this video, we're going to be covering exactly how to ensure that your email outreaches never end up in the spam folder of your prospects. So, before I get into that, quick announcement in terms of where the channel is going. So, you know, I've been uploading five videos a, a week, Monday to Friday, for the past, I, I think, like, two months now. And to, to be honest, SMMA is a very, very simple business model. And um, I've given basically all of my best content away for free. Uh, now, the thing is, like, it's going to be very, very unsustainable for me to post out five videos a week that are of true value to you guys, which is why I'm going to change it to a three video a week upload schedule for the foreseeable future. Uh, simply because I don't want to give you guys like fluff content and also you know like recording basically fluff videos for me isn't enjoyable and I I would rather give you guys quality over quantity and to be honest the YouTube algorithm nowadays like yes they respond well to five videos a week but three videos a week is still viable even two or one video a week is just about consistency and the and that's like basically the main reason I want to make that change now moving forward with this channel I still do plan on giving you guys a ton of value in terms of on a very technical level for SMMA but I do want to slowly integrate like maybe some vlogs occasionally uh, this is to give you guys a better understanding of like what it's actually like to own an agency and more of the behind the scenes of what goes on in my daily life and I just realized I have my little mini radiator on here so it's probably making some background noise uh, apologies for that but yeah without further ado let's get right into this video and to increase the deliverability of your emails and never end up in the spam folder, essentially what you need to do, here are some really quick tips to make your emails appear less spammy to the algorithm. Because first of all, you have to understand why exactly an email actually goes into the spam folder. And the reason being, it's exactly the same as like a, for example, like a YouTube algorithm. An email client would only want to serve emails to the recipient, aka the email holder, if they kind of deem it as it's an email that they really want to see. Uh, so what I mean by that is, you know, every email account, so your email account has like a um, sender score. And what the sender score essentially is, it it's like a ranking or like a score given by the algorithm to your email account. And the higher the score is, the better, because that shows that, you know, people who receive your emails, not only do they interact, engage and um, reply to those, but also it's like, you're not spamming people with those emails and those emails are actually solicited. Tips to instantly kind of increase your sender score and make your email seems less spammy is things like, you know, really, really complex signatures. So what I mean by that is, you know, when people have signatures with like a short paragraph saying, oh, you know, um, uh, this is like private and confidential and then they have like an image of the company logo and then a bunch of colors and things of that nature and a few hyperlinks in them as well. Uh, don't ever do that because that is killing your deliverability. Um, just keep your email signatures really, really simple. And a lot of the time, to be honest, you know, a simple email signature is that is actually symbolic of a more successful business because, you know, Successful business owners don't tend to need to have like this flashy kind of like uh, email signatures to show that, you know, they're about what they're talking about. Crazy elaborate sig elaborate signatures are iconic of like the sales executive kind of role. Uh, so yeah, keep those real simple. Also, um, try not to um, have any hyperlinks in your email. So what I mean by that is, you know, for my initial email, I don't put in a uh, discovery call booking link anymore, uh, simply to just increase my deliverability. And also, you know, have make sure you have a subject line, always, always, and um, don't have any like images or PDFs or anything that's making the email appear too kind of heavy and like um, delivering too much content. Of course, you know, if you are if you were to send like a video audit or something, you're gonna have to link like, I don't know, like a YouTube video or like a Loom link. That's perfectly fine. That won't affect your sender score and that won't, you know, make sh that won't make your email go into spam basically. Another thing that I would strongly, strongly advise is, you know, when you first start emailing people, so once you first buy your domain and create your own personal um, domain email, uh, what you want to do is you want to have like a ramp up sequence where it's like, you know, you're sending, for example, only 20 emails a day in the first week. Second week, you bump that up to 40. 
and then the next week 60, etc, etc. You don't want to just start off sending 100 emails a day uh, straight away. Sorry, 20, 20 emails a day, sorry, not 20 emails a week, that would be ridiculous. Um, so like 20 emails a day, 40 emails a day, 60 emails a day, etc, etc. The reason for that is, you know, you don't want to start sending 100 straight away because that is very, that is just like iconic bot behavior because, you know, no r normal human being can be sending uh, basically over 50 emails a day and still remain sane and normal. Um, so yeah. And the limit for daily emails, uh, to be honest, there's no limit per se, but um, the ideal amount is between 150 to 250, and that's like max in my opinion. So there's also something uh, that's very, very technical that I didn't, re I still don't really understand to this day, um, but it is definitely necessary in terms of increasing your deliverability, and that's going to be your um, SPF uh, D. Kim and DMARC. Now I'm going to jump onto Loom to show you exactly how to set all three of those up and the exact order that you should do them in. Uh, so yeah, three, two, one, cut. So in this portion of the video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to set it, um, set up uh, DMARC, SPF, and also um, DKIM v on G Suite. This only applies if your email, uh, if your domain name is hosted within G Suite. And I'll also show you guys how to actually check your deliverability at the end. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. A lot of people use their um, domain host as, sorry, I just need to put in my uh, domain host registrar as like, say something like Cloudflare. The process is the exact same. So um, you don't need to really worry about that. I'm going to be blacking out certain parts of my screen because I don't know how sensitive the information is. Um, just because, to be honest, like technical side of things, I didn't really look into it. I just knew it was something that I needed to do. Uh, so yeah, first things first, you want to get Deacon set up. And how you can check that is what you would need to do actually is um, this. So you'd first go on to um, your Google admin and then you go on to apps and then you go on to uh, basically come to this part, Gmail. So you, initially you would be you would be um, at your console, you would go to apps and then you would go to G Suite and then you click Gmail and then you'll be brought to this screen. Give it a second. Now here you need to actually go on to authenticate email. Essentially, it's some sort of like uh, ver verification process that Google goes through um, to check your email. So right here, you know, you have authenticating email, uh, which is DKIM. So DKIM is the first thing that you would set up. Now I'm going to black this bit out for obvious reasons. As you can see, it says authenticating email. Um, Currently for you guys, it should say not authenticating email and that is definitely a problem. If you guys don't already have a record here, you would just simply click generate new record and then put in this name, um, just name it Google. And then what you would do is you would go onto Google domains, which is right here. Um, just type in domains Google and then you go to the ones um, your domain and then you click DNS, which is going to be on the right here. Now you scroll down to G Suite. Now I think, I believe if your domain registrar is um, hosted with uh, Google itself and it's not something like Cloudflare, it does everything besides DMARC automatically. Now if you were on, um, if you were to be on Cloudflare or something, you would need to add this all manually. It will still be on, uh, it will still come under DNS and you would simply just go to the custom records. And then here you would at, for example, SPF, you would just do at, which is like pointing, it points it to the root uh, domain. And then over here you would select obviously FP, uh, SPF, and then you would basically just copy exactly what's in here uh, to the value section and click add. Now, with the um with the uh what's it called with the dkim what you want to do is you would uh go to in this part of it you want it to be pointing at uh, to google dot underscore domain key and then over here you want to select txt and then here you leave as default which should be on one hour and i think it's i think the h means one hour i don't know but um or something like auto or something. Uh, and here in the value section, you want to copy basically the entirety of this value. Um, can't really show you mine because I don't know how sensitive, again, it is. 
Um, but yeah, you want to copy the entirety of this value and paste it here. Simply add it, and um, yeah, it should come up here if it's on automatic set to auto. So don't do this if you're hosting everything, if you're keeping everything within Google domains. So yeah. Now to get DMARC set up, it's slightly trickier and it's a bit weird. So what you need to do is you would need to go here, um, type in underscore DMARC. Over here, you want to select TXT, leave this on auto again. And in the bit below, I'm going to paste anything that you need to copy that's like template form down in the description. So you essentially want to enter V equals D mark one um, semicolon P equals none semicolon R U A equals mail to colon your email address. And this is to um, have Google automatically send out the DMARC um, reports. Um, not really sure, again, what they are for. I definitely watched a video on it, but it's just like, you don't need to understand the technical aspect. Just know that this affects deliverability. Now, once you have all of that checked, what you, um, sorry, done, you want to go back here and you click um, it should say start authentication. And once you click that, um, it may take like several hours for it to propagate throughout the servers. But once it's propagated, you want to click authentication. And then over here, it should change from not authenticating emails uh, to authenticating emails. So once that's done, what you want to do is you want to just go on Google Toolbox. OK, cool. And we're back. So what you want to do is uh, you want to go on Google and just search in G Suite Toolbox. Click the first link and it should bring you to this page. Here, you want to go on a verify DNS issues and then you would just simply type in your domain. So for me, that would be busy acquisitions. And then you would run the check and then give it a second. It does take a minute for this just because I think it needs to, um, I don't know, probably ping some servers or something. I don't know how it works. I probably should know just because I did computer science for a while, but. Yeah. Oh well. As you can see, uh, no problems were found within the configura configuration of the domain. Um, so the only thing you kind of need to look out for, if you have any errors, that means you went wrong somewhere along the steps, and you need to kind of go back and fix that. Um, with the effective SPF ranges, what you are looking for is essentially you want to look for bzacquisitions.com, and then you want to have spf.google.com, netblocks, google.com, and then netblocks two, netblocks three, with a bunch of random um, IP addresses here. So if you have that perfect, you're good to go. And yeah, that's it. So what you want to do finally is you want to go on to Glock apps. And this basically is, um, it lets you check the deliverability of your emails uh, to see what are the percentages of it going to spam. Now, if you just make an account, it's free of charge. I think you get like three uh, tokens to use. Um, I'm, I'm not going to show you how to actually use it just because uh, like I, I've already used one of the tokens, so I don't really want to use another, but just log in, make an account and then run the test. And then if your emails are getting only blocked and going straight to spam by Outlook, perfectly fine. Otherwise, yeah, you're, you're all sorted, ready to go, start firing away, acquire those clients. And yeah, I'll see you guys back in the other angle. And we're back. Thank you so much for sticking with me to this end of the video. If you enjoyed or heard something new or learned something new, give this video a like down below and comment down below if you're struggling with setting up DMARC, DKIM or um, SPF. And I'd be more than happy to help you guys out with that. Uh, so please, I highly, highly recommend, you know, you actually implement the tips I just gave you. Uh, because, you know, if you're sending out 100 emails and like 30 of them are ending up in your spam, then, you know, like it's basically pointless, right? for every 10 outreaches you're doing, three of them go to waste and think about the time and money, maybe even you paid for the leads. And yeah, so please, please do implement the tips I've given you. And yeah, I'll see you guys on Wednesday's video. Have a good day, guys.